karmana sugradasya sugrata karmana where noble actions of the past is the cause why you are feeling the sattva in you the sattvic qualities in you is a result of the evolution that you have gained in the past is not all of a sudden coming to you that attitude of devotion and prayerful attitude a sense of morality the courage and conviction to say no to all temptations and keep the mind peaceful and serene this sattvic quality is the product of evolution it is not accidental gift similarly rajoguna if you are practicing what is the bala the result agitation dukkha sorrow you may get things temporarily there is a great sense of fulfillment but in the long run it the very success of the past becomes a cause for the extra sorrows in the in the future earned a lot of money and you are in the old age sitting there and you see your own sons fall fighting among themselves for the wealth that you made it they did not strive and left it for them they quarrel how many houses it is thus broken down <laughs> properties you purchase and your two sons quarrel among themselves on that property and one says that i am going to plow the land and take the harvest the other fellow says you will not take the harvest i tell you i guarantee if i am the son of my father i will not allow you to harvest it the other fellow says what are you talking i who sowed and therefore i will harvest ah you will harvest so i come to harvest you come to stop it i and you fight both of us die and the mother earth is confused before both these people uh, claimed that it is their house their father was claiming before their father their grandfather was claiming before their grandfather it was somebody else from whom the grandfather purchased the land they said now the poor land is worried whose as me everybody comes and claims that it is his now these two brothers quarreled and both of them are buried on me in me and both of them were claiming that this earth is mine now really it has become theirs why they are now mingled with the soil in the same ground right like, what a pete think rajoguna ultimately brings about unhappiness you may work day and night and earn a lot of money are you in the market money i i then then what earned the money so invested the money ah and day and night you sat down with oil in the eyes to see that the money is not taken away by anybody in the safety of it then all day you came then local hospital you are lying down oh. hey what is it in the end these all these so called successes in the world are of no pit no essence rajoguna always bring about sorrow rajoguna brings about mental agitation mental agitation is called sorrow nobody can avoid it tam ajnanam tamasa bhalam and the tamas when it has come and the intellectual discriminative power is blocked ajnanam ignorance i didn't think about that i am sorry i didn't know that i am sorry you go on from mistake to mistake bumping and say that my destiny is bad my lord is not blessing me <laughs> why i come to the wrong conclusion i purchased that fellow sold lucky that he sold because he got the money i am unlucky because i lost everything then why didn't you come to the same conclusion i don't know at that time i don't know i don't know you always this tamas when it is there 
your judgments are wrong, your calculations are wrong, you are reading the situation is wrong, you have the collected data you cannot uh, correctly evaluate. All these are because of the tamas. Thus tamas, agnanam creates ignorance or non-apprehension of things in their right proportion and in their true nature.